Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you. Having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento with a GDI engine, you need to remove or replace fuel injector guys. Stay with us, we will explain what you need to do guys and what not to do. So make sure to stay until the end. If you do one simple mistake, you can catch your car on fire or cause damage to the electronic components. Now you don't need to remove your engine to do that. We simply have it out due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos on that engine that can potentially save you thousands of dollars. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years, for instance they started using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys, and that's a 2.4 GDI engine, so before we start let me introduce you to the channel, every single car we get at the garage guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos, why we do all that, simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, how we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you, also guys if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from, specifically this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel out to repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this is guys the engine right here now what we have done okay so far guys in order to get the fuel injection system it is located right here you can see those are the injectors for cylinder one two, three and four, you will need to remove your intake manifold, the whole intake manifold where the car gets its air from, it needs to come out, for any of you that don't know guys how to do that, we have a special video that explains how to remove intake manifold on Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento, the moment you remove your intake manifold you can get up to that point, but before you start working on the car guys, remove, disconnect the car battery, because you're very close to the starter, alternator you can cause sparks also you'll be working with fuel so any chance to minimize the cause of a spark guys disconnect the car battery on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the electrical components in the computer that can cost you thousands of dollars get a fire extinguisher always work on a cold engine always wear eye protection gloves guys okay and then we can continue Again, if you want to see the intake manifold removal, we have the video guys on our channel. Once you do that, what do you need to do next? Right here guys, okay, we have the fuel line. That fuel line, okay, right here it is with three quarter inch. So you, you will leak some fuel and you have some fuel pressure there. So be prepared, always wear eye, eye protection again guys, not to spray in your eyes. Ours, okay, the engine, have uh, we removed that recently, so we may not have so much fuel left, okay but let's see the fuel rail usually will be full of fuel as well now right here guys let's see okay that's enough to make sure that you give us enough room right here we need to disconnect the okay the fuel injectors one of them is disconnected right here so that gray piece needs to come out then you press in and pull it out so uh with the help of those pliers if you come like that you can see that gray piece okay it can easily slide out then we press down okay and remove it this one okay two and now we have one more so let me get in that angle so we can pull that plastic piece out if the injector doesn't want to come out push that connector in then press down then disconnect it because it could be stuck remove the fuel pressure sensor wiring harness okay right here you press down and you pull it out now be prepared to leak fuel guys 12 millimeter socket we're going to remove three balls that hold the fuel rail to the engine so let's go ahead do that perfect now right here we are going to remove these bolts okay great now that thing could be really stuck guys there are 
people will do them different ways you can release the injectors now but in most cases it should come the injectors with the fuel rail if they're still stuck in the cylinder head that's fine we'll remove them we'll get a bar a little bit put a little bit on this side a little bit here careful not to bend things just be gentle a little bit at a time our injectors stay on the cylinder head okay be careful because you will leak fuel out okay so careful not to get any dust, any dirt, because you can say bye bye to your injectors. That's the fuel rail. That's how you remove it, okay? Now, what about the fuel injectors? They're right here. So we need to grab pliers, guys, okay? We need to grab pliers, okay? You can see somewhere, this one turns easier. This one is stuck a little bit, but if you turn it a little bit, grab it with the pliers, okay? And <coughs> just be, be careful, guys not to break it and pull it out. It could be stuck because it might have quite a bit of burnt, okay. Carbon build up, that's the seal that needs to come out with the injector. Make sure guys, okay, make sure that you install new seals, I recommend, and on top too. This one, you can see, practically, okay, got, uh, got stuck so much that it destroyed itself, so. That's how you guys remove fuel injectors and the fuel rail. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.